I ain't going to sit up in here and lie. I'd be telling myself, I don't need help. I'll just smoke weed. But I really do need help. I need to go speak to somebody. You know, I don't want to take meds, but I'm sure I probably do need meds. You know what I'm saying? I've been off my meds since I was 16 years old. I'm 37 years old now. Um, I don't know how I managed to stay free. How I managed to, you know, keep it afloat. This is how, no, I, I am strong and I get my strength from my mother. Shout out to my mother. I love you, mom. I get my strength from her because if I was weak, I would be in a ma some major city strung out on drugs somewhere. You know what I mean? All the shit I've been through and the shit that I've, you know, the shit that I've seen, the shit that I've done, like, hmm, the eyes do not lie. Pay attention. Now, going back to this. Mental health stigma, we got to highlight this again. The mental health stigma prevents many from reaching out for help. Men fall victim to that because of the ego and the pride shit. Women are more likely to go out there and seek help. You know what I mean? But any, but any gender can feel any wide range of any reaction. You know what I'm saying? Remember that. And there is no one size fits all when it comes to treating mental illness. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there should be more people talking about this. You know, the bigger platforms should be talking about this. And not just on YouTube. You know, Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, even Beagle. Like, have something. Like, you don't really see nothing. You got to search for this shit. I bet you people didn't even know May was the month of Mental Health Awareness Month. I bet you so many people out there didn't even know May was Mental Health Awareness Month. I bet you people didn't know men May uh, Mental Health Awareness Month was, was uh, funded back in 1949. You know? Like, come on. So the research that I've done earlier, conversation goes a long way. Start a conversation with a person. Let them know that they're not alone. You know, this is why I, I, I make it a point and, and, and I go out of my way too. When I see somebody that I know, for, and I see obviously they suffer from mental illness, I let them know, like, you know what? You're not alone. I literally do dead ass I do. You are not alone. I, too, suffer from that. This is how I do it. Like, yeah, last night I was speaking on different ways, diff how different people cope with depression. You have some people that do hard drugs. You have some people that pick up a bottle. And when I mean a bottle, I mean the liquor, you know, the devil's potion. You have some people that gorge themselves in food. You have some people that shut themselves from the world, shut shut themselves off from the world, kids, everything, moms, all that. Shut, cut off the whole world. I fall into that category of cutting people off and shutting myself down. I sh shut my kids out, which is terrible, but I'm not going to sit up out here and lie to y'all. That's what separates me from a lot of these fucking dudes and these fucking women out here, too. Because there's some... Um, dishonorable women on here too <laughs> um but i fall into that category of so i can't speak on the other categories of picking up the bottle because you know i don't have a drinking problem uh doing hard drugs uh, i don't do that i experimented with a lot of shit but you know huh, weed's my choice and uh gorging myself i don't do that when i'm depressed i can't even fucking eat even if i'm blasting high i have to force myself to eat just so I don't get sick. So the only thing I could speak on is the shutting off, cutting people off. And I'm still working on that because, you know, I'm bad with that. Like, I will fucking go ghost. Niggas would think I'm dead. Real red. You feel me? So What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? Talk, talk your little intro. Here you go. We're going to start right from where you start. This is your boy, TC, PDH Music Entertainment, to pull up at the pop-up. We're going to start right where you start, where you ended, because you did ghost us, motherfucker. I did. I started hitting everybody up. The fuck? <laughs> Bruh. I appreciate you, man. 
I'm you know, everybody yeah. up. I'm in the thing like, yo, bro, what the fuck is going on? I'm hitting your cousin up. I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. I ain't hearing from my guy. Let's pop it. <laughs> hey, but you know what? I was, you know, if you look back, I was, I, if you remember, I'm sure you remember, I tell you, oh, things are going good. Da, da, da. But there's a part of me that I just want to go ghost. I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just, you know, that shit took over. You but, know what I mean? Bro, you got to look at where, bro, when I met you, you, your numbers weren't, you were like, I ain't never going to hit a thousand type. Like, it was like, bro, this yeah. is an uphill climb. And, bro, once you got your fucking feet under you and you got a hold of your shit and you got your, your you know, you got your mojo. Yeah, your ran the fuck up quick as a bitch, bro. Your numbers ran the fuck up. You did your shit, bro. You got to be proud of where you're at, and 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 you got a long way to go. But I yeah. see you quick, bro. You building as long as you consistency. The first thing I told you when we linked was consistency. Consistency. Bro. Stay consistent, bro. I'm going back to seven days, seven nights again. 